What's happening YouTube? KP Tutorial 16 Port Scan 1. We're going to do a little unthreaded version just so you can see how we can port the port scan um, to our screen too. Okay, my dog's in a pretty bad mood at the moment and he's barking. So if you hear it, it's my dog and not me. Uh, although I do bark after some rocky doggy treats. Right, so if we do the ARP scan, as you can see, we've got our nodes here. We press the node, we go to screen 2. Okay, and this is what we've got. I prepared a background for screen two. Okay, which I'm going to give to you in this tutorial in the description box, which you can download. Uh, we're going to get rid of the button here, but first um, we're going to lay a canvas down so that we can um, use the the background. The background is going to be used for uh, the results of the port scan. Okay, so we do a canvas rectangle. source and if I navigate to the folder I'll show you the uh, the background that I made if my computer decides to open the folder and there we go so the the background's going to be used as the background of the results of the port scan okay so um, this tutorial is literally just going to be a quick um, a quick method of how to port uh, the port scan into the tool. Uh, I did make a tutorial before this, I believe, um, on port scanning. If you want to have a look at that, and after this, we're going to thread it so it's faster. Okay, so that you can port scan, um, say, 1,024 ports in um, in less than half the time than than it would take as normal. Let's just change the sizes of these buttons as well just to make them look a bit better. Okay, so we have the canvas there, we have the source, uh, we do need to put sizes on there as well. Let's just get rid of that button. We need to put a size and position hint for the canvas. Let's just create our label first. Label ID and we're going to call it port scan results okay and the text for now will be in green now as you can see the tool is getting a bit large at the moment yeah it's getting um there's a few few lines of code here so um i think i'm going to start modulizing it to make it um more visually understandable and visually appealing so that's going to be a few tutorials coming as well on how to create modules your own modules so that you can import them and use them all right it will make your programming a lot more flexible a lot more appealing easier to debug hopefully okay so if we do self dot we do pause self dot pause and we do size self dot size that should position the background where we, where we want it okay let's just run that quickly and run that and get our nodes up click the node and that looks better okay so that's where our results are going to be displayed rocky bad boy all right so if we come down here onto our screen two what we need to do is firstly we need to import the label that we just created to display our results okay so self dot port scan results i'm really happy to hear um you guys enjoying this okay I'm glad that um, people are enjoying this. That's the whole point I'm making these videos. Okay. Um, I've got an uh, email sender uh, coming as well. How to make a, um, a little application that will send emails for you in Python and Kiwi. 
Um, I don't know when I'm going to be making those videos as um, I've got a lot on at the moment as well. But they're coming. Okay, so port scan. Uh, this is the function that's going to be run. So self dot ports list. Let's create a list that's going to append the ports that are found. Okay, so we're going to have a list of ports, and for i in our dictionary. So therefore, when the button's pressed, we go to screen two. Our dictionary is going to contain um, the information of our node, and if i is in the text, which would be target. I want you to scan so for port in X range and we're just going to do like C5 or how many are we going to do yeah let's just do five five ports for now okay just to show you so we create a packet okay it's equal to SR1 we do IP the destination will be the node Okay, so it would be MITM S1 target dictionary. And we have to index it, so it would be I, and it will be item 1. Okay, or 0, as it's the first one. So it's a TCP packet. All right, and it's going to be a sin packet. That does not mean it's going to hell. It's just um, a sin packet. Uh, source port one two three, destination port. We're going to do from. Let's do seventy eight because I know uh, port eighty is going to be open. So uh, we're going to get a result back. Uh, let's do a timeout of one. Okay, and uh, now try. I, I've actually left out the flag. Uh, I'm going to go back up and put that. Um, if packet dot get layer TCP. And this is how you can access um, the packets that you get in Scapy. It makes it extremely easy. Okay, let's just add the little flag here. Flags. Yeah, it makes it extremely easy once you've got the the packets to dissect them. All right, you can um, get the attributes of the packet. Okay, so it's an extremely powerful, powerful tool. Uh, I think Philip Biondi made it. Hats off to him. Hats off to him. All right, self. Dot ports. If packet dot get layer TCP flags equals eighteen L, which is open, if you remember self.portslist.append packet dot get layer tcp dot sport right okay <laughs> my dogs my dogs just sitting there just growling at nothing okay and i just want to do a little print statement here port is open and let's just put a capital in there because I can. Let's do an elif. Packet dot get layer. And if it's closed, what is it equal, guys? Shout the screen, shout the screen. Can't hear. That's right, it's 20 L. Okay. And I just want you to print. Port is closed. Okay. Now we actually have to uh, we actually have to put this on our onto our label so that we can display it. This is not the most efficient way. This is not the best way to do it. But for the sake of this tutorial, just to show how you can. Okay. So if the length of the port list is greater than zero, i.e. it actually has something in it for i in self.port list. <coughs> so 
self.port scan results dot text equals let's just make sure things right there and it's going to equal some green some green thing okay port placeholder is open fucking type right <coughs> excuse me okay and close that off and then dot format now opinions guys you, you guys um, prefer the longer tutorials or shorter tutorials you know um, I'd like to know so um, I know uh, what to do okay I don't mind making shorter tutorials like five minutes I don't mind making longer tutorials I mean, maybe 30 minutes 45 minutes but you know so we do an else self dot port scan results dot text and we're gonna put it as um, no open port found probably nada zero <laughs> Rocky, Rocky, there's no one there, mate. Don't worry about it. No open ports found. I think it's because we cut his testicles off. Uh, I would be angry as well. Anyway, right. So, that should be all good. That should be fine. Let me just check this. And we need to obviously assign the button press to the function so we do on press and I've just seen that I've got it up there anyway but since I'm here on press root dot port scan okay that's that let's just delete the on press above this Okay, and let's run that, and we should be all good. So let's run that. Let's go to our nodes. Let's go to our router. Oh, there we go. Let's get the router up. Let's port scan that, and there we have it. Port eighty is open. Okay, so is as simple as that. All right nothing major okay um, I'm gonna leave the um, the code for the tutorial in the description guys okay so you guys can uh, can have a look and also the background alright so thanks for watching guys if you like what you watch please don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up I will appreciate it the next tutorial is coming fast and furious keep coding keep being awesome see ya Bye.